I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. That's right, we're diving into the science of our favorite frozen treats. Want a bite? I'm at the Chapman's factory in Markdale, Ontario, where rocket lollies and ice cream sandwiches are made. I'm about to go off limits to make the next craveable cone. Every part of this factory smells so delicious. I know, it's amazing when all the flavors, yeah. Tammy Barrett is literally an ice cream scientist. It's her job to create and test flavors and find the right combinations for these massive freezers. In my job, I like to be able to make something with my hands, show some creativity, to come up with really interesting and new flavors for kids and adults, for everyone. There are 49 holding tanks here. They each hold 12,000 liters. So what do the tanks contain? Ice cream mix, sorbet mix, water ice mixes, all the different mix types that feed our production area to make all the different products. Tammy has tried all kinds of experimental combos. We have done some really interesting flavors with combining brownies and strawberries and bananas. Today, I want to see what it takes to make a hit of a deep freeze flavor. Even I can invent the next waffle cone winner. So, we're putting two to the test. Cotton candy with sprinkles and, this is a long shot, I love dill pickles. Can we make a dill pickle sorbet? We can try. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. We combine the sorbet base with flavor. Sorbet's main ingredient is sugar, unlike ice cream, which has milk and cream as main ingredients. It smells like um, chips, potato chips. Yes. We're gonna add a little bit of color just to give it a green color. All right. There we go. Cheers. Bye. Well, what do you think? <laughs> I don't taste the pickles. It's like, it's weird. It's okay. um, sweet. sweet. Yeah. There's a little bit of sour to it. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe it will be better when it's frozen? Nope, don't think so. <laughs> Time for the sweet spun flavor of cotton candy. So we're about to freeze the sorbet, but is it too late to add something like sprinkles or chocolate chips? Not at all. This is the time where we're going to add what we call inclusions. We're just going to dump this in. So what this machine does is it takes our pink mix. What it's going to do is it's going to freeze it like soft serve. Once the liquid freezes, we add sprinkles. And what started as bright pink has become much lighter. That's because of a key ingredient, air. So air is one of the ingredients in sorbet and ice cream. Yep. It's what helps make the ice cream and sorbet scoopable. The lower the amount of air in there, the harder it is. Are things churning inside as it's freezing? Yes. So inside the frosted barrel there, so you have the cooling on the outside of the barrel, the mix coming into the back of the barrel on the inside. So it's cooling from the outside in. Yeah. And what happens is that liquid mix gets spun around inside and it freezes on the inside of the bearer and you end up with like a soft serve ice cream. The soft serve version of our flavor is ready. This is our sweet sample result. Wow. This is definitely cotton candy. I feel like I'm in a summer fair. Good. I like the sprinkles in it. Gives a little crunch. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. 